Since 1980, the number of women who gave birth to twins jumped by 70 percent. The increase in multiples has also led to a rise in a deadly complication during pregnancy called twin-to-twin -twin transfusion syndrome. News Channel 5's Roxanne Stein reports a laser surgery is saving babies and giving families new hope. When three-month-old Zoe and Violet Hannings are awake, they don't stop. What a pretty smile, Zoe. But there was a moment early in Jen Hanning's pregnancy when her world stood still. During a routine ultrasound at 20 weeks, doctors determined the babies had a dangerous condition. Surgery looked like the best option given, given the uh, options that are available to you. Zoe and Violet shared a single placenta, and blood vessels connected the two. Instead of blood flowing equally, Violet was receiving too much blood from Zoe. It's called twin-to-twin -twin transfusion syndrome, or TTTS. The fetal heart muscles start to thicken and valves begin to leak. They can actually go into heart failure and die. During fetal surgery, doctors insert a laser through the mother's abdomen to seal off the twin's shared blood vessels. What the surgery does is, is really breaks the connections between the two fetuses. And so the transfusion stops. In at least 90% of the surgeries, doctors successfully save one of the babies. 70% of the time, both survive. She's out. Doctors say the Hannings twins are now healthy and should continue to develop normally. I think we'll just explain what miracles they are to them when they get to be where they can understand that. Roxanne Stein, WPTV News Channel 5.